Okay, today we're going to compare these two Wix oil filters. This new Wix oil filter, number 51040, that I just picked up at O'Reilly Auto Parts for $12.99. And this older 14-year-old Wix oil filter, number 51040, that I got for free. Yep, a generous viewer whose name is Mark from Staten Island, New York, sent me this oil filter. Thanks, Mark. He used to use this older Wix oil filter on his two Daywood vehicles, which he still has today. A red 2001 Nubura 2 and his white 2000 Laganza. So today we'll go back in time and see if this new Chinese made Wix oil filter is better than this older USA made Wix oil filter. So let's get started. Let's just set that word. You got a good circle, get nice and get your hand up here. Okay, let's start with the older wicks. And look on the box here. You guys can freeze this if you want and read all this information. Nice little picture they got with it cut open. I think it's fairly accurate except for here this bypass valve. I don't think this filter doesn't really have a bypass valve, so that's not accurate there. You can freeze this too if you want to read it. And if we look over here, we'll see contents made in USA. All right, so let's open up this filter, see what it looks like. And the date code, 101708D1. This is a sticker. This filter has six inlet holes, metal core with holes. Like I said, there's no bypass valve. And you got about four grooves there for the threads. And a natural rubber gasket. It's pretty thick and it all looks good okay let's open up the new one the new Chinese and let's look at the box real quick there's really no information on this box either except for here contents made in China man and humble that's about it now this Chinese filter comes wrapped in this plastic which I kind of think they all should but Let's look at the date code here. 048222EM1. This is also a sticker. Look right here, it says made in China. This one also has six inlet holes, but that looks to be a nitro rubber anti drain back valve. Metal core with holes, also no bypass valve. And the same amount of grooves there, about four. And a nitro rubber gasket. Which is on here really good. There it goes. Also, pretty thick. Okay. So, both filters, same size. They look pretty identical, except for, see the difference? You can see the silicone, and any drain back valve in the nitro over one. Well, let's cut these two filters open and uh, see what they look like inside. Be right back. Okay, here they are cut open. Let's get their weights. The older Wix is 240 grams. The newer Wix is 268.9 grams. Let's take a look at their gaskets. You can see they're both about the same thickness. You can see the marks on the old one. They look, they both look good though. Okay, base plates. Let's weigh them up. The new one weighs 105.4 grams. The old one, 104.2 grams. Almost the same thing. Let's look at these up close. I think they're both the same base plates. You got the same number stamped on them. Where is it? Right here. 18. 18. You got numbers in the back also. Different numbers in the back, but. But they look the same. Same amount of threads. Yep. 
Okay, now the any game bag valves. Like I said, this one's nitro rubber. And this one's silicone. Let's see how they fit over the base plates. They fit nicely over the holes. You know, you're going to pay $12.99 for a filter. You would expect it to be silicone in a drain back valve. And they both have these metal inserts. Okay, filter elements. The new one weighs 76.2 grams. The old one weighs 62.9 grams. Okay, let's look at the old one first. Got a glued seam right here. They're pretty clean except for there's a little piece of glue, but like no bypass valve. I counted 48 pleats on this one. They're nicely spaced. And, you know, I really don't have the micron rating for this. This is like a 14-year-old filter. So, you know, it might be the same as the new one. I don't know. The new one's, this old one's got this, uh, these little things here to keep it centered. And I also got the new one. Okay, the new one's got a metal crimp seam. And it's also, the new, also the new one's got this off-white colored glue, whereas the old one's got the black glue. You see it here. It's got the black glue in it. Okay, and this new one has, I counted, 50 pleats. And this is an enhanced cellulose media with a micron rating of 95% at 20 microns. Pleats are also nicely spaced. Yeah, it looks good. No excess glue. It all looks good. Okay, both have coil springs. The new one's a little bit shorter. I didn't notice that before. Yeah. Okay, let's get the weight for the cans. The new one is 63.4 grams. And the old one is 47.8 grams. Wow, that's a lot of difference, huh? And let's get the thickness on this can. 0.56 millimeters thick. And the old one is 0.54 millimeters thick. Almost the same thickness, but a lot of weight difference there. They are the same height. All right. Let's get the width on these guys. Okay, so this is the old one. We got a width here of 1.68 inches wide. And the new one is 1.77 inches wide. A little bit wider. All right, so let's cut these two filters open, stretch them out, see what they look like. I think the new one's probably got two extra pleats. So the new one's probably going to be a little bit longer. It's a little more filter media. All right, be right back. Okay, here they are stretched out. And the new Wix is 58 and a half inches long. And the older Wix is 55 and a half inches long. Okay, so let's check out the thickness on these guys. The old one is 0.88 millimeters thick. And the new one is 0.69 millimeters thick. Quite a bit thinner, actually. Let's look at these guys up close. And you can see, you can actually tell that the new one on the right is a little bit thinner. And wait till you see these under a microscope. Uh, yeah, let's do that right now. So as you can tell, this newer one 
got a lot of little pinholes in it. So um, I would think the old one would do a better filtering job. The old one has about 10 less square inches of filter media. But I would take the old this old filter media over this new filter media. And let's look at the rest of the filter. So I give the gaskets a tie. They're both about the same. These little inserts, they're the same. Base plates are the same. Now you got nitro rubber and silicone, so I give the old one the valve. They both got springs, so that's the same. The cans, the new one slightly weighs more. It's, it's slightly thicker, so probably the can would go to the new one. And with these guys here, the new one's got bigger inlet holes here through these holes. Not inlet holes, but you know, the core holes here. So I'd probably give that to the new one also. But looking at that filter media under a microscope really was a shocker to me. I would take the older wicks. What do you guys think? Which one, which oil filter would you guys use? And again, I want to thank Mark for sending me this old Wix oil filter. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. The old Wix filter media weighs 11.4 grams. The new Wix filter media weighs 10.9 grams.